My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. This is one of my new favorites, a 59 Impala from out west. Has a 348 with dual quads, has air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, even has cruise control. And it is ground up restored. Look at all this documentation. It's all itemized receipts, wire diagram. Everything is right here. This is a fantastic car. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study about 100 photos, get the price. And not only this car, there's a few hundred collector cars at volocars.com that are all for sale. If you enjoy our videos, go uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see them as they come out. But I got a lot to tell you about this 59 Chevy. Let's go for a spin. Actually, I took my three-year-old grandson for a spin Sunday morning. Just him and I hopped in the car about 8 in the morning, hit the back roads. We just went cruising. Nowhere to go until he said he wanted a donut. Then we went and found a Dunkin' Donuts. But uh, just went out cruising. I enjoyed it. It was my favorite time of the whole week last week. And obviously, I felt safe and comfortable because they took my grandson in the car. Uh, just cruise is nice. It has a nice, mellow, uh, hot rod sound, which you'll hear in a few minutes. Just easy. You're one hand on the wheel, just, just a cruiser. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Um, yeah, the car was built in California. I bought it out of Nevada. It's always been out west. Underneath the car is super dry. The floors look like they're all the original clean floors, uh, not patched up or, or butchered up. Uh, the front ends had a lot of work done to it, ball joints, control arm bushings, sway bar bushings, spring shocks, same thing in back. Uh, new upper and lower control arms, springs, shocks, new pan hard bar, uh, the brakes, the rear axle uh, bearings have been replaced. The trans is upgraded to a turbo 400, that's been rebuilt, it's got a new torque converter. The motor is a 348. It's actually the correct motor for the car. It was born a tri-power. Uh, now has a dual quad set up on there. Let's talk about the outside. It's Snowcrest white. The paint is polished out really smooth and glossy. Fit and finish is excellent. There is a hairline crack right here. I remember, I'm glad I just pointed at it because I knew about it, but I forgot. Just a hairline. Other than that, the body and paint is really nice. It's all smooth, it's all clean metal. There's no bubbles. Look how everything fits and it's flush. Look at all the moldings. Got the rockets here, little bit of freckles on the rockets, but all the stainless trim is straight. There's no dings and it's polished. All this trim has been straightened and polished. New door handles, new bow tie mirrors on each door. It has the rear mount antenna, which is cool. It has 15-inch Kreger wheels on it. They look brand new, a little bit wider in the back. It's got a nice stance. These are called cat's eyes taillights. They're in really nice shape. Bumpers re-chromed. All this stainless is real nice. Everything fits real nice. I was going to say this rear window is brand new. It's crystal clear. If you search, I think I found a hairline scratch right there, like a piece of hair. So maybe it's not brand new, but it's crystal clear. All the glass is real nice. The windshield is new. The gaskets are new. Even the rubber around the vent window is soft. Up here, the grill, headlight bezels, that all looks to be really nice original. A uh, new chrome bumper. Now, if you know this, but when it has the cross flag emblem here and on the sides, that means it's the 348 motor. Really sharp looking. 348 motor. It's got a nice set of Offenhauser finned aluminum valve covers. You got aluminum intake with two dual quad Edelbrock four barrels. It has electric choke, MSD ignition. It has a completely uh, new power steering. I mean, it's all new. The steering column, all that's new. Uh, it has the remote reservoir. 
all new heat and air conditioning system, has factory power brakes, 100 amp alternator, it's got a $280 Optima battery. The interior really pops. Love that interior at this time. It has chrome piping in the seats and it has all the colors going on. It's just like a, a slap in the face. Like, wow, it's a really sharp looking interior. If you get a chance to see the headliner, it's really cool too. And that's new and the visors are new. These trunks are huge. I always think if you just removed this trunk lid, you'd have an El Camino. That, it's like a truck. It's huge. It's all clean metal. I lifted the mat. Nice metal. It's all painted white. Has a jack, has a spare, has new weather strip. So yeah, reproduction upholstery, door panels, carpets re uh, replaced. Little bit of staining right here on the carpet. I don't know how hard my guys tried to clean that or not. Uh, the dash is all repainted. It's a chrome steering column. It has cruise control. It has a you know, new shifter, an indicator. All that's been replaced. Back under the hood, uh, it runs cool. It's got an Edelbrock high volume aluminum water pump. A new fan it has the original shroud. It's a four core radiator. I notice it has GM hoses. Uh, firewall's clean, everything's painted nice, has the hood insulation, has a nice polished overflow uh, bottle. Uh, yeah, cruise control, like I mentioned, wiring is all nice. Uh, inside the car, I have receipts for like $800 in new wire harnesses, so all that's been redone. Weather strips are replaced, door is clean. Yeah, these were the cross flags I was talking about that usually uh, designates 348. Right below the dash, he had a custom-made panel. There's a receipt in there. He actually sketched it out and had a shop make that panel, and it has a full set of new gauges, including the tachometer, has the air conditioning uh, vents. It's pretty cool. They used the original uh, levers to control the new heat and air conditioning, but I believe they'd be electric now instead of cables. Also, front and back has two little mini consoles. Doesn't sound like a big deal. That's where you set your coffee. There's no cup holders in old cars. So it has it front and back. It has retractable seat belts. All right, why don't we start it up? It has low car pedals. The list just goes on and on if you start reading all those receipts. There's a retro stereo. Of course, I always grab the wrong key. Give me a second. High torque mini starter. The new exhaust system is bent real neatly right along the frame. They did a beautiful job. It has a glass pack style muffler. The motor is smooth and quiet as can be. There's not a tick, there's not even a shake coming from under this hood. But it does make some nice sound out the back. The door's shut real nicely too. I said new fuel tank with electric fuel pump. Just excellent fit, finish, the ride, the way it drives, everything about it. I must put 30 miles on it. You shut it off, it starts right back up. Just no issues at all. Uh, gas gauge was accurate, speedometer works. So it's a great car. If you go to volocars.com, there's plenty of ways to reach out to our staff. They'll help answer any questions or concerns you have about the car, the process, the delivery, the financing. We'll help with all of that. 
If you enjoy our videos, go to Volo Cars. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy our videos. If you click on the bell icon, you'll be the first to see the next video that comes out. Thanks for watching.